Hi, it's Brother Munro here. Welcome to episode 11 of my Victoria Let's Play series. Um, in the state of the world episode that I did, I warned that um, there's going to be an event coming up soon. So, but this is something else. Dominican Republic asking for French protectorate. So, uh, intercede. Or it is of no interest. Um, we shall intercede. And they have not made the Dominicans a protector. Good, good, good. I kind of assumed that that event would pop up um, over which parallel the same time it did previously, but um, it seems that... Hold on. There we go. So, <clears throat> from the comments, it seems that you want me to demand the 42nd parallel the USA have already accepted the 49th, so this will give them an event. And... Yeah. So they didn't like that very much. Not a problem. Uh, I don't think it's a problem. So the smaller nations are full dropping out, which is normal. Um, ah, explored the centre of Australia. Hooray for Stuart. So the US Navy is no match for the Royal Navy. Unfortunately, we're going to have to fight this mainly defensively, I think. So, I don't think the natives are... No, they're not. Okay, so... Hopefully, Canada can... Get on with things. Um... So, New South Wales, getting bigger. I'm just going to attack Washington directly. Um, because it gives me the biggest war score bonus. Um, and then we can quickly see if the Americans... So, make it a quick sort of... This will show you type war. What they got here. Let's see if we can't attack that unit. So just gonna unload the troops straight into Washington DC. The Hutt Valley campaign. Um, the Maori are becoming a threat to the British posi position in New Zealand. Mm, oh dear. Well, fortunately, the Australia garrison is still there. The French! Genius! Oh, that is fantastic. Okay, all your sins are forgiven, France. Invading the United States. Genius. Tunisia abolishes slavery. Good stuff.
So we captured the United the capital. And that's good news for us. And we've defeated well rather the Canadians have defeated the army that went up there. So I want to send my troops to Ottawa. Um why don't we go and capture Philadelphia? Hmm. What's all this about? Who's rebelling? Irish. Because... The... Because of... Something. Voting rights, apparently. Crush them. Rebel scum. <laughs> I love the French. Good stuff. And it counts as us capturing it even better. <laughs> uh, captured Philadelphia. And going to head to Binghampton to head off this unit from Buffalo. Uh, ah, so the French are giving us troops. So I'm just going to use the French troops to spread out and attack and capture various places. Yes. Smashing them. Whoa, okay. So, Switzerland, right, Austrian, uh, okay. So, I can have diplomatic overtures or threaten them with war. Um, I don't want a war in Europe. Diplomatic overtures. Um, it just gives me plus relations. I can't be bothered defending Switzerland, they're not that important. We have bigger fish to fry. Plus, it would impede our uh, French allies, um, if then they wouldn't be able to commit as many troops to uh, beating the snot out of the U Americans. I switched the music back on because I like it. <laughs> okay, so we forced the US Navy out and they'll be crushed. Ooh. Okay, so that was the Canada garrison getting wiped out. That's not so good. Um, so right, I'll send the, these units to attack that lot up there. Once we finish them off. The Americans getting troop lots of troops from various places. I don't like this. So again, US Navy running all their ports to ground. So Send the French to take them out, and send our troops to take, uh, mm, take out them. Ah, 
Ah. So the American troops are popping up all over the place. Uh, crikey. Right, I'm going to pause here just for a minute. 